Hey, Master Geo here with a review of the Mezco 1 to 12 Collective Wonder Woman. Let's first look at the box she comes in. So here you'll see that it's got Wonder Woman's name at the top. It's got an awesome rendition of her logo. The 1 to 12 Collective uh, logo. And the DC logo on the side. Let's take a look at the back now. You get um, a little bit of info telling you that it's the 1 to 12 scale collectible figure featuring intricate tailored costuming and over 30 points of articulation. You see that she comes with a shield, sword, lasso, an alternate head. Here's a look at the figure. I should mention that this is based on the Wonder Woman from the DCEU films as played by the lovely Gal Gadot. I knew that this isn't a toy. It's for collectors like you and I. It comes with six interchangeable hands. It also tells us that it's got a display stand and an adjustable posing post. And it's got some pics of the action figure in action poses that you could recreate. Uh, well, minus the uh, effects, although I guess you could Photoshop those in if you can. This is the other side of the box. Let's take a look at the top of the box. And then we'll look at the bottom of it. As you can see, the, she slides out from the bottom, or the top I suppose. Um, and you can take a look at the figure now with its display stand, accessories, and all the good stuff. She's um, in a see-through plastic, and uh, she and, uh, and maybe a couple of the accessories, it seems, are backed up. So here she is in all her glory now out of the box. You can see she actually can stand on her own, though of course if you want to put her in action poses and make sure she don't fall, you'll want to use her stand which has her logo and is large and looks really nice. Her head can move side to side, though with the hair it's limited. You'll also notice that she has full articulation of her arms, elbows, and hands, which turn 360. She has leg movement, knees can bend, and ankles also have posability. It thus gives you the opportunity to pose her in some really cool action mannerisms. Uh, just remember that the joints are nice and loose. She doesn't feel stiff on any parts, so she won't feel like she's going to break on you. I would, however, caution too much posing on her thighs as you don't want to rip or tear or ruin the uh, lower part of her costume. For more wild poses, you can pop out the peg and put it up this stand which will hold her up. Let me demonstrate. This will allow you to pose her in manners like, say, she's uh, giving a drop kick or other more 
intricate and crazier poses that you might want to have your Wonder Woman in. Now, before I go into her accessories, I want to comment on just how beautiful this figure is. First off, the face is gorgeous. Making female figures is always hard, but goddammit, Mezco knocks it out of the park. It really looks like Gal Gadot. The detail on the figure is amazing. I hope you guys can really get a good look at her outfit, but every little nook and cranny just looks amazing. Look at her bracelets. They just look fantastic. I love the silver color, which helps to reflect some light. Look at her boots. It, it is just an amazing, amazing figure. This is a gorgeous toy. Um, I, I am absolutely blown away by how gorgeous she is. Look at every strand of hair, the folding, the shadowing. Everything is perfect on this figure. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing figure in every way, shape, or in form. Now let's go on to those awesome accessories. First off, there's the alternate head. Now, I just popped off the one that comes with it, and here is the other head you could use. I should mention that the heads pop on and off really easily. It doesn't feel tight or it's going to break, which is great because sometimes with toys that have alternate uh, body parts, you kind of are very hesitant because you just feel it's going to snap and mess up your whole toy. Not here. So here she is wearing the alternate head. I actually think I might like this one a little more. And I think when it's all said and done, I might just keep this one on my figure. Oh, we'll wait and see. All right, let's move on to the hands. The ones that come on the figure are closed fists. But there are uh, two other sets of hands that we can try. So let's give those a shot. All right, so let's take a look at the alternate hands. Here we have one closed but able to hold a weapon hand, and another, and a, the other hand is an open hand. I should point out that while the right hand came off, popped off easily, the left hand was a little tighter and also a little harder to screw back in. Um, it doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything, but, you know, one always has to be cautious. Still, once it's on, it's on well, and you can, um, of course, she can hold her weapon now, so let's give that a shot. So I'd like to point out that the key for the alternating hand to come in and off is to pull down the bracelet on her, then snapping on and off will be a lot easier. Okay, now first and foremost, I absolutely love the way she holds her shield on her left hand. It's realistic and cool looking. The shield itself has a great bronze color, sort of uh, shows a little age and wear and tear on the... Um, rusting of the color, I would say. It looks very cool and realistic. Her sword is really awesome. And just look at the detail on it. The little etchings on it. It's it's really a nice figure. A wet uh, accessory for your figure, I should say. And again, she holds it really well. So now here she is holding her sword and shield. She's ready to kick some ass. And she just looks badass with her weapons. It's probably my, my one of my favorite things about it are the accessories that come with it. Now, let's take a look, of course, at her lasso. Her lasso is permanently wrapped in an O shape, so don't think you can be tying up anybody or using it anytime soon. But it hooks on to, a, um, to her pouch, carrying her, um, and it looks cool. Of course, it's Wonder Woman. She needs her magic lasso. You'll also notice that there is another sleeve on her other side. 
I'm not 100% sure what actually goes here, but it could be her shield, as you can see here, so that's my guess. It should be noted that the switching of the hands, um, sometimes they don't stay on, so make sure you snap them in well, and also this might not be something you want to continuously do on your figure. I think once you find a uh, position or manner that you want to pose her in, you might just want to keep her that way. And for all intents and purposes, I'm guessing most of you will want to do it that way. And now for one of the more interesting accessories, probably the most interesting accessory, is the, ref is the bullets that are reflecting off of her bracelets. It's a cool idea. I don't know if it works 100%, um, but the attempt is nice, and it makes for some pretty sweet poses. I wish this turn was a little, I guess, easier to maneuver around, but I don't want to F up my toy. So it's, it, it's a cool feature. It, it makes for, uh, I guess, Probably some cool uh, stills, especially, I would think. So have fun on your Instagram with this one. And there you have it, folks. The Mezco 1-12 to Collective Wonder Woman action figure. She's a gorgeous figure with very cool accessories, um, awesome posability, and just everything about it makes for a must-have figure. This is, without a shadow of a doubt, the best Wonder Woman figure that's not a Hot Toys. Now, you're, she's of course sold out at the Mezco site, so you're going to have to hunt her down through some secondary sources. However, you, while you might be paying more for her, she is worth every penny. This figure gets my highest possible recommendation, and I'm not lying to you when I say that it is now one of my favorite figures in my collection. All right, until next time, this is Master Geo signing off. Goodbye.